Hey, so I wanted to show you guys in this video a couple things. Number one, I want to show you what the highlights panel is, which is this guy right here, in case you don't know what that means. I also want to show you what a compact layout is and how that pertains to this highlights panel. But more importantly, why you probably clicked on this video is you want to understand how you can add a field or a field with images in this case to that highlights panel. So it's important to understand what a compact layout is. It's important to understand what the highlights panel is so that you can get that done. So quickly jumping into this, uh, let's show you what a highlights panel is. Now to get to this page, the lightning app builder, all you're gonna want to do is you will be on your page that you wanna edit. You hit your gear icon and you hit edit page. Once you click edit page, it brings you to this separate tab. Uh, that's going to be your lightning app builder. Now there's all these different standard fields or not fields, uh, standard components uh, that you can add to your page within Salesforce lightning. So this one specifically is called the highlights panel. A highlights panel is sitting up here. That's where it's going to be displayed. And what it does is it allows you to take, I think it's up to six fields here that you can actually display at the very top of your screen um, to highlight, right? That's the name of it. Uh, these specific fields that you want to look at or you want to draw attention to right off the bat. So in this one, we have the priority, the case urgency, the status, and the case number. So that's what the highlight panel is. If you're noticing here, though, I can't edit these fields right here. I can't add new ones to it. Um, so the second question came up for me when I first learned this, which was, cool, that's sweet, but how do I actually add new stuff to it? How do I rearrange these as well? Um, and that's where the compact layout is going to come into play. So you have this thing within your setup for a object, this thing called a compact layout. And you're always going to have your system default. Um, at this point in time, you probably already have some other ones that are set up by other admins. If you don't, what you'll do is you'll click into the system one, you'll clone it, and then um, it will allow you to make a new one, right? So now we have our new default as what I named it. And when I hit edit here, this actually says, okay, there's all these fields that are available, like on the case, which ones do you want to put inside of this compact layout? So right now we have subject, priority, case urgency, status, case number. Case urgency was the one that I was uh, wanting to get in there. That's the one that's all those stars, the image. I want to populate that inside of there. So as a quick reference, I can have my user just look at that image and know exactly what the case priority is based upon the stars, right? Or that image that I have in there. Um, so I put it uh, as the third one down here, and then I also have it, um, you know, a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five of them in there. Uh, and like I said, I think it goes up to six, so I could add one more, but we'll keep it at five. I hit save. Uh, now you have your new compact layout here, which is all great, but when you create a new one, it's actually not going to allow you to have it as the primary one. It would still have your old one set to the primary compact layout. So what do I do to make that change? Well, click into it and there's something called compact layout assignment. When you click on the compact layout assignment, you can actually edit this. It gives you the drop down of the two different compact layout assignments that you now have. We want to select the new one, hit save. And then when we jump back over here, say once you did that, you would refresh your page, right? Once you refresh that page, um, that new compact layout is actually going to appear. So the compact layout and a simple way to remember that is basically your highlights panel, right? So anything you put inside that compact layout and set as a primary compact layout is going to be inside of this highlights panel. So now we have our case urgency image inside of that highlights panel instead of looking for it over here off to the right hand side. It's just right in front of the user's face.